Oseo. It is a gorgeous day here in Oklahoma. I have been outside uh, working on my bucket garden, uh, my five gallon buckets. I've never done this before. I went online and I did a bunch of researching and I came across, um, oh shoot, all my notes are outside. I wrote down the guy's name because I wanted to give him credit. But I got the idea from him after watching several videos. I liked his idea the best. So I am attempting to do it, and I'm going to take you outside with me, show you my garden, and show you the steps. Um, I've got most of them done, but I did a step-by-step -step so I could show you. So let's go out to the garden. Okay, we are walking out to the garden, but first I want to get my extra dirt out of my truck, at least one bag. We'll come back to the other one. Oh, we got another bucket in here. How awesome is that? Oh, I guess I'll try to anyway. Uh, say hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> All right. Goodness gracious. Starting to cool off. It was really hot earlier. I think it got up to 80. Um, this is where I have my garden. Uh, I took a trampoline frame and I put wire all the way around it. Because when you have chickens or ducks or goats or whatever you might have, uh, you need everything pinned up. Or at least I do, because my chickens are into everything. So, let's see if I can get my door open. And get in here. Oh, there is my goji berry, or wolf berry, as called. Throw my dirt down there. Alright, this is what I have going. The uh, idea. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, my buckets were a little flimsy, so I cut one and I put it on top. All right, you take a five gallon bucket and you want to cut a hole in it. My buckets will sit in there like this, will sit in there like inside the bucket. And that will give this much air, this much air in the top of there. So you take your, sorry, I'm throwing you guys all around. Take your bucket and then you throw that bucket in there. And then the next concept they say is to take this landscaping, um, Stuff. I don't know what it's called, just landscaping material is what I call it. And then you put it in your bucket, you put it in here, and you put it, I already have this one in there. You put it on top of your bucket, and then you put it down, and then you bring it back up, and you put your dirt in there. See, um, there's, the landscaping stuff is here. And then you put your dirt around like that. And then the next step, oh, you put your pipe in between your landscaping and your bucket. And then the next step is you fill it up the rest of the way with dirt to the top. And then next step, you plant your plants in there. Uh, I use the one inch pipe because my garden hose fits in there. I don't have to use a funnel. If you wanna use a smaller one, you can. But you probably have to use a funnel to put your water in there. Now, this was a little hard for me to do. It was a little difficult getting all the dirt in between the bucket, the, this stuff, this stuff. <laughs> and it, it was just difficult doing squishing this all down in there. So what I did, whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. I took my bucket and I took my stuff and I wrapped it and put everything inside. This is really hard to do with one hand. And then I put it in here like that instead of bringing it back up around. And then I just put my dirt on the side and filled it up and 
let's see those are the four steps five steps um, this one here I did that way it looks neater it was it was easier to for me to do because like I said it was hard to get my fingers down in between and push the dirt all the way around <coughs> excuse me um, it, it was just easier for me now the reason the plastic is in these buckets is because the Lowe's buckets are brand new as you can see there's no plastic these other buckets okay well they all have holes in them I have used these previously the concept is on these is for them to be self watering so I put the plastic in these buckets so the water would stay in there and not leak out through the holes now what I used for this project for the drainage holes I just used a drill bit with um or a paddle bit I'm sorry it's a three-quarter inch three-quarter inch paddle bit uh, of course I use the landscaping material I got one that is 15 year guarantee that way I don't have to mess with it again hopefully for a few years I use the miracle grow potting soil and uh, I got the miracle grow excuse me miracle grow plant food because they say every time you water your plants to give it food and with this concept you're supposed to be able to go approximately a week without having to water it your plants are supposed to grow bigger and water it less frequently so we'll see how it works I like I said I've never done this before I don't know I will let you know uh, maybe do another video to show you how they've progressed how well they've grown um, these this one here these are actually onions that I planted last year they survived the winter I'm going to do the same concept I'm going to dig those up and do the same concept and replant them my goji berry this is its third year and so it's doing really well I may or may not do the same concept with it I don't know because it's doing so well um, my blueberries they're not doing really well so I think I'm gonna dig them up and put them on the self watering system because blueberries like a lot of water and my strawberries I'm gonna go ahead and take all the dirt out of here put plastic down and do the same thing with them so they can have the self watering this bucket here just has dirt in it and I'm gonna take the dirt out and that will be a tomato bucket so um, I hope you enjoyed this video like I said I'll do another one and keep you up to date on how my plants are growing oh I forgot to tell you I have lettuce and cabbage and broccoli and strawberries and over there are my chives that's what I started with um, I could have done it a lot cheaper and started it myself with seeds but I didn't I kind of cheated uh, oh the uh, I keep remembering stuff I wanted to tell y'all the buckets obviously I got from Lowe's dead giveaway huh um, I'm in no way affiliated with them I just happened to go to Lowe's and get them I tried to call McDonald's and Burger King and a bunch of other different places they no longer get their pickles mayonnaise or anything like that in buckets they now get them in plastic bags so I had to go to Lowe's uh, the buckets were $3.29 I believe um, I got an eight inch or eight foot one inch water pipe and I left this piece of pipe out here because it has my measurements on it uh, we cut this at a 20 degree angle you want it to have a little bit of an angle so your water goes in there 
so it doesn't sit completely flat but there's an angle so your water comes out and then we cut it 16 and a half inches from the angled tip to the end and like I said it's a one inch pipe and it will just go in here like that and I'll put my dirty in there around that one here after a little bit and uh, I told you that I got this idea from a gentleman and I look absolutely horrible I've been outside all day but anyway his his YouTube channel is arms family homestead I'm in no way affiliated with him I don't know him he's in Oklahoma also but I don't personally know him I just found his YouTube channel I liked his idea and I feel like I need to give him credit because he's the one that obviously I'm using his idea so once again uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something if you do try if you decide to try this method let me know how your garden turns out and till next time y'all have a great day